So still solving problems on second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. In this lesson, we are going to consider problems or examples where we have the non-homogeneous term equal to either a sine or a cosine function. So let's consider the two cases which may occur. So for the case one or for case one, if the non-homogeneous term is equal to a sine px plus b cos px, where a or b may be zero, then we are going to do yp, which is the particular integral, equals a sine px plus b cos px. And then secondly, if we encounter a case where sine px and or cos px appears in the complementary function, then we are going to do yp equals x into brackets a sine px plus b cos px. So these are the two cases that may okay. Now we have this problem here. Let's try to solve this problem together. So we have the differential equation y prime prime plus 4y equals sine x. So let's treat this as a homogeneous differential equation so that we have the right hand side equal to zero. So we have y prime prime plus 4y equals 0. Now, we are going to derive the auxiliary or the characteristic equation from the differential equation so that we have m square plus 4 equals 0. Now, we can use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this auxiliary equation or better still, we can transpose 4 to the right-hand side so that we have m square equals negative 4 and then we take the square root of both sides so that we are going to have m equals plus or minus now we can we can represent this as the square root of negative one times the square root of four so this becomes m equals now square root of negative one is i and then square root of four is two so this will be equal to plus or minus 2i, plus or minus 2i. If you compare this with alpha plus or minus i beta, then you realize that you have alpha equals 0, and then you have beta equals 2. So we have alpha equals 0 we have beta equals 2. Therefore, the general solution, the general solution for this homogeneous differential equation is given by e to the power alpha x times, into brackets, we have c1 cos beta x plus c2 sine beta x. So plugging in the values of alpha and beta, we have e to the power 0 times x. Now, 0 times x is 0, e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we are going to have 1 times c1 cos beta is 2, so 2x plus c2 sine 2x. This is yc. Now, let's try to find the particular integral. So... For the particular integral, for the particular integral, we have g of x to be equal to sine x. Now, let's compare that with the complementary function. Now, we have sine x here, we have sine 2x here. Now, since sine x is not equal to sine 2x, it means that sine x is not found in the complementary function. Now, if sine x is not found in the complementary function, then what this means is that we are going to establish yp equals a sine px. Now, in this case, p is 1. Okay, p is 1. p is 1. So, 1 times x is still x plus b cos x so this is yp 
so we have yp to be a sine x plus b cos x now from this let's try to find yp prime and then yp prime prime so we have yp prime that is equal to we differentiate this term we have a cos x we differentiate cos x we have negative sine x so minus b sine x then for yp prime prime we differentiate this term we have negative a sine x minus b when you differentiate sine x you have cos x so cos x so this is this is yp yp prime yp prime prime now to the differential equation to the differential equation we have y prime prime plus 4y equals sine x so y prime prime plus 4y equals sine x so let's plug in the expressions y prime prime and then y so we have y prime prime that is negative a sine x minus b cos x plus 4 into bracket a sine x plus b cos x equals sine x now let's try to expand and simplify so we have negative a sine x minus b cos x plus we multiply 4 across we have 4a sine x plus 4b cos x equals sine x so we have negative a 4a so that becomes 3a sine x we have negative b 4b so plus 3b cos x equals sine x now let's compare coefficients of sine x okay so we compare compare coefficient of sine x okay so we have 3a on the left hand side equals 1 on the right hand side because 1 times sine x is sine x now we divide through by 3 and then we have a to be equal to 1 over 3 the next thing is to compare coefficients of cos x so compare coefficients of cos x on the left hand side we have 3b on the right hand side we have no term containing cos x so that is zero we divide through by 3 and then you have b to be equal to zero so we have a to be equal to 1 over 3 we have b to be equal to zero therefore therefore we have yp to be equal to 1 over 3 1 over 3 sine x okay 1 over 3 sine x plus you know b is 0 so 0 times cos x is still 0 so this is this is yp therefore we have the general solution y to be equal to now for yc we have c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x so c1 cos 2x plus c2 c2 sine 2x and then plus yp which is 1 over 3 sine x 